Lifelong learning is essential in healthcare because it helps to keep our knowledge current even as healthcare becomes increasingly complex. There are always new things like skills to acquire and novel technologies to learn about, which we can then use to benefit the patients we serve. Especially in the climate of COVID-19, we can see that there's so much that we actually know so little of. Everything is continually changing. This really goes to show how important it is for us as healthcare professionals to be able to keep in touch with what's happening on the ground to better and continually improve ourselves. I think one of the biggest challenges faced today by healthcare professionals is that there's really a vast amount of knowledge and information that's being created. So it's important for us when we are looking at continual education and learning to be able to find causes that are really relevant, plugged into the latest happenings, so that we are better able to pick up what's most useful for us with a short amount of time that we have. The recent CET course that I've taken with NUS is the Graduate Certificate in Teaching and Learning for Healthcare Professionals. Although the course was conducted online, it was still very engaging. So that was interesting to connect and share our experiences from the different organisations and areas of specialty and through our discussion, we were able to exchange our viewpoints and approach the learning materials with a better perspective. The CET course supported my professional development by equipping me with the skills and knowledge to perform a learning needs analysis to develop a curriculum and have a greater understanding of the various teaching strategies and evaluation methods. One of the causes was the one on leading and managing in medical education, which was part of the Foundations in Health Professions Education series. The online modules were very informative and well thought out, as they provided good knowledge base and stepping stone into the ensuing workshop. I really enjoyed the workshop as there was a good balance of interaction with my course mates and the facilitators, and we discussed cases which were taken from real-life scenarios which was extremely valuable to my work as an educator. I have since developed a deeper understanding in areas such as curriculum development and assessment, which has in turn improved the quality of my work. The courses have also allowed me to develop my professional network, which is a valuable resource to tap on when the need arises. A major part of what we do in CET is collaborating with hospital and institutions worldwide in learning and research. Synergistic exchanges like this help ensure the sustainability of the global healthcare ecosystem. Utilizing simulation technology, we immerse our learners in actual scenarios so that they get an acute awareness of their surroundings and the stress of applying knowledge under pressure. To effectively train our learners in both clinical health assessment and clinical reasoning skills, we combine both virtual simulation and role play. Our continuous education and training program is anchored on what we call andragogic principles. Our learners are mature learners. As mature learners, they like to take control of their learning. So for these reasons, our training programs are anchored based on this andragogic or adult learning theories and principles. The school's vision is to inspire health for all. And this means that the school is intent on going beyond sick care and the management of diseases to one of promoting health for everybody. To do that, doctors especially need to extend their knowledge base by doing continuing education and training in subjects like information technology, economics, humanities, so that we can broaden our knowledge. The Yong Ludin School of Medicine is perfectly situated to educate the world about Asian health patterns, diseases and environments. We have a broad range of faculty members who are experts and we are working with global partners to create platforms that will effectively deliver continuing education and training through the use of technologies and social media. So we believe that we will be the best in the world to help them understand Asia.